to Math 21 in the AM. Here we are. Uh, we're just going to finish up what I asked you guys to do the other day and make sure we're on the right track. Choosing a good bank account. Let's see here. This first one here, Wilma is a set designer. In a typical month, she makes 16 transactions, keeps a monthly balance of at least 650 bucks. Which checking account should she choose? The low fee, the value, the unlimited, or the student account? Well, it doesn't sound like she's a student, so that's not an option, because that's a good deal. What do you guys think of? You guys looked it over. Liam, what do you think of? Did you write, what did you write down for this, Wilma? Okay. You're saying this question here. What what did you think about this? Which account should she go for? Good gravy, guys. Anybody? Well, she can't. She's actually employed, though. She, she's not a student. It says right there she's a set designer. Otherwise, the student account is the way to go. But I guess we'll have to take a look at this, then. So think about that, knowing that she isn't a student. Oh, goodness. Well, I'm going to tell you then, too, what you need to consider. Barney averages over 20 transactions, not over. Keeps a minimum balance of 3500 in his account. What would you suggest? If he, you have 3500 bucks in your account all the time. Wow. And then the third one, Arnold withdraws cash from an ATM that's not his own bank eight times a month and pays a buck fifty each time. What does that cost him because he's silly and doesn't use his own bank's machine? Those three things I want you guys to do that. You guys are going to come back on this because remember, I've taken all of this stuff in. I'm going to talk to you about kinds of bank accounts. Then. Flip the page and come back. Okay? So your kinds of bank accounts. You've got savings accounts. And you put the money in. That's called principal. And if you can leave it sit there, it can gather some interest, and it adds up in your savings account. It adds up slowly. You get interest is money that I'll make it simple. If I put a thousand bucks in, and I had a two percent savings account, wait, you paid me two percent. I would get twenty bucks at the end by one full year. I would earn twenty bucks on a thousand. Not life changing or anything like this, but when you have lots of money, not that we do. I don't. If you have it sitting in an account and it's earning five or seven percent interest, that really adds up if you have a hundred thousand dollars sitting aside, right? Make sense? Yeah. Fact is influencing the amount of interest earned. The principal, the big time money that you put in. The interest, like I said, two percent or five percent paid to you. Well, the higher it is, the better. The time. If you keep it in for five years, you're gonna earn more interest. The type of interest. Is it simple interest or compound? Banks tend to do something called compound. And that's a good thing. That's what we'll just call it. The type of savings account. Many different types of savings accounts. Let's just zip ahead to the next page. Checking accounts. Even though you don't write checks, maybe, most of us, and I operate mostly from a checking account. Personal checking account is used for making frequent transactions, not just checks, paying bills, Withdraws cash like from the machines or in person. And automated payments. Like if you know that, I'll give you one example of one of my automated things. I have a mortgage, you know, and each month my bank account, I don't see the money, it just gets transferred right up automatically. I could set up my SAS power bills and my SAS, you know, uh, energy bills, gas, stuff like that. It just comes directly out. And that's through a checking account, even though you don't write the check. You can be issued personalized checks for this account. And it can be individual. Or if you are have a partner that you live with and so on, you might look into doing a joint account so that both of you can put money in there and make sure bills are paid and reviewed. Some checking accounts pay interest. It's usually quite a bit smaller. If the amount of money is above a minimum balance, it, it can happen. Most people today have checking accounts. Safe, simple way to 
keep pay your bills without handling cash. Many kinds of checking accounts are now available. Here are some examples. Okay, Scotiabank uh, examples here. Unlimited transactions, but that's for a fee of thirteen bucks, twelve ninety five. Seniors discount. Well, that's stupid. But you can make as many transactions as you like for thirteen bucks. Self serve with one percent money back. Well, you pay more for that, fifteen bucks, fourteen ninety five a month. But then you got one percent unlimited self serve transactions and one free teller assist transaction. After that, though, you get a buck fifty card. I don't know. I wouldn't unless you had tons of money in there. I don't think that extra one percent really makes that one work well. And then if that was the case, you can have it in a savings. So that's my. A basic banking plan, ten bucks. I'm saying that nine ninety-five. But if you keep two thousand dollars in your account, you don't have any fees. So it's like I find it silly some, sometimes. It's like, okay, ten bucks a month. But if you have two thousand dollars, you don't have to pay that ten bucks a month. Great, but you could afford it then. It's the people who can't afford it that pay the ten bucks a month. Anyways, whatever. <clears throat> <laughs> Low transaction count, four bucks. You know, just 12 debit transactions. Everything else is an extra buck of transactions. So you'd have to keep track and make sure you didn't use your card more than a dozen times a month. It's possible. Um, I can tell you that there are no fee accounts, not just low fee accounts. And I'm surprised they're not listed there because those are no brainers. Go with a place, if you choose a bank account, I said the other day, go with a place that you know has machines all over the city, or especially closer to where you live, so you're not tempted to use somebody else's machines that extra charge. The other thing is, is go, go with a place that has a no-fee account. And it doesn't matter how much money you have, as long as you're not going in the make. Not advertising any one particular institution, but Tax-free savings accounts. If you have extra money and you want to keep it in there for a long time, you can earn interest on there and not pay tax on it, you, like income tax. If you're in that kind of shape at 18 or 20 or whatever, great. Invest it. I don't think you guys will be too worried about it yet. You might. Actually, you. I don't know if you have investment accounts. That's your private business. But anyway. You're able to invest up to $5,500 a year, but you have to be over 18 years old. But I guess you wouldn't. Combination account. A little bit of savings and checking characteristics. But usually, if you earn interest, you have to have a minimum amount, $3,000 or so. Uh, investment savings. Then emphasize higher interest rates for money growth. Still flexible enough to be able to deposit or withdraw money. These accounts often have a minimum and maximum balance. And you can see some of these investment savings. Wow. A minimum of a thousand, but a maximum of five million. Well, that's a nice problem to have. Anyways. But all these T D accounts here that earn interest and stuff. You can see, and that's only one percent interest. If you had a million dollars, you're wasting your time with one percent interest. I think you can make it work for you a lot better. But if you had a million dollars, you'd probably have someone else to help you make decisions based on that. Did I skip the page here? No, I didn't. Okay. Then, 13. Different ways to access your bank. Online. I do that a lot to just pay bills. Whether it's just through a mobile phone or on a computer. I like computers. Telephone banking. This is all because who the heck? Telephone banking is stupid. You got nowadays you use your mobile app and it's no big deal. And then telephone banking is where like press one to be talking. It's not a person. It, it's annoying. And it used to be a way to do things before everybody had or everybody, a lot of people had smartphones. Not everybody. But the mobile banking service is like I say a little older. 
it's an app on your mobile. That's probably the most likely way you're going to do this. I use mine a lot. I want you to finish up the stuff on page nine and then talk about this stuff. Savings accounts, you're going to write things in here. This isn't numbers now. Five factors that affect the interest. You're going to zip back and read a little things. Explain what a person uses a checking account for, paying bills and so on. How can money in a checking account be accessed besides writing a check? Well, there's a list. You can use a bank machine. You can transfer things to companies that you need to pay online. Explain what a service fee is and why customers are charged. Continuing these questions. Yeah, and we'll be starting right now. Uh, so you guys, I want you to actually do this too. Look up, Google up. Who doesn't have a phone under you 21? You, all four of you have internet access on phones? You're going to do this research. You don't have to get brochures. Either research on the internet, don't do brochures. Research on the internet. Canadian banks, don't do American ones. So I'm talking about CIBC, Scotiabank, Royal Bank, any credit union works, uh, TD. Those are the big ones, you know what I mean? Get something you've heard of that's in this city. There is actually a, a President's Choice one, too. Maybe look into that. They don't actually have buildings, but I'm not even sure how it works, and I'm not looking for a bank, but I think it's a pretty good deal. PC. Anyway. President's choice. That's for superstore kind of stuff. And you earn points towards groceries. And see this, and anything about telephone banking skip nowadays. That's garbage. So I'm going to stop and get you guys to do all of that. That's what you're doing. That, that is page 17 you're working on. Okay? Work up to page 17. I'm just writing that. That's your work. There's a bit of work. Okay. Over and out.